All right, guys, we are back, back in the building, back with some more boxing. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Smash the like button and all that good stuff. Now, guys, we're talking about the newly crowned full-fledged WBA champion at 135, Javante Tank Davis. Now, it is rumored that he will be making his return to the ring March 30th on Amazon Prime Pay-Per-View. Now, you guys know Showtime got out of the business of boxing, uh, left the PBC without a network. They had to scramble. They got to deal with Amazon Prime. And I'm sure they want to, you know, kick things off with a bang. And, you know, having Javante Tank Davis first up to bat, you know, you, you don't get any better than that. Javante Tank Davis is must-see TV. And uh, I'm hopefully, hopefully he does return to 30. We know he's been going through some personal issues, uh, you know, being... Uh, under house arrest and, and just different other things. I think uh, his coach, uh, uh, Calvin Ford, was uh, locked up too. I think he's out now, if I'm not mistaken. But, you know, he had a whole lot of personal things going on. So hopefully he'll be ready for a fight this 30th, uh, March 30th on pay-per-view. Now, the rumor is, is that he may be facing Frank the Ghost Martin next. Frank the Ghost Martin, who is the protege of Errol the True Spence Jr., who is under the tutelage of Derek James. Now, we don't know if it's, that is the case. Uh, a lot of people are speculating that because of what Frank posted on his verified Instagram. He says, I'm taking it to the ceiling on the next one. So they got a lot of people excited uh, and, and they were thinking, well, it, it can't be anybody but Javante Tank Davis because, you know, he's been so quiet about the whole situation. Now, you guys know Frank DeGhost Martin uh, did have a little bit of controversy a while back uh, when he pulled out of the fight with Shakur Stevenson. You know, a lot of people accused him of ducking the smoke, uh, including myself. You know, I, I gave him the benefit of the doubt first. But when he really didn't address it, you know, I had to call it a duck, you know. It, it looked like a duck, so I had to call it a duck. Even though I didn't want to do it, you know, I got to keep it real with you guys. It just looked like a duck move. But anyway, uh, if this is the reason why he pulled out of the fight because he knew he was going to get a fight with Javante Tank Davis, that makes that makes a lot of sense because that is a big money fight. Uh, fighting somebody like Shakur Stevenson, you, you guys know Frank the Ghost hasn't really stepped up in competition and if he was to go into a fight with Shakur Stevenson, you know, he could have lost that fight pretty easily, in my opinion. And, uh, you know, there goes his big Javante Tank Davis fight. But anyway, uh, he is, you know, rumored to be facing Javante Tank Davis. Now, let's look at, you know, what he brings to the table. So, Frank, there goes Martin. You know, he's undefeated. He's 18-0, guys. Uh, 12 KOs. He has a 66% KO ratio. He's a southpaw, just like Javante Tank Davis. He's a little bit taller. I think he's 5'8". Javante Tank Davis is like five, uh, five foot five and a half. Uh, and he's been, he's been out of the ring for about eight months, his last fight. Uh, you guys know he didn't look so great in that fight. People gave him a lot of, you know, flack for it. But, you know, you're not going to always look your best. I think the fight before that, uh, he fought Michelle Rivera, the Muhammad Ali lookalike, and he looked spectacular in that fight. So... Everything is not going to always go to plan uh, when, when you fight. Sometimes you're going to look spectacular. You know, sometimes you're just going to look terrible. And he looked terrible in his last fight. Now, his last three fights, he won the two of those by unanimous decision and one of those fights by KO. So he's a pretty, I would say he's a pretty active guy. Uh, he's got quick feet, fast hands, uh, respectable power. Uh, like I said, very athletic guy. I think he could give Javante Tank Davis some problems just because he's so athletic and quick. Now, Javante Tank Davis, you guys know, 29-0, 27 KOs, 98% KO ratio, uh, five foot five and a half. His last three fights, he KO'd all three of those guys. And he's been out of the ring uh, once, I, I guess. He's been out of the ring probably about 11 months uh, if he does fight in March. It'll be 11 months if he fights in March. Uh, so I think it'll be a pretty good fight. I think Javante Tank Davis needs a fight like this to prepare himself for guys like Vasily Lomachenko, for guys like Devin Haney, for guys like Shakur Stevenson. Uh, and I know a lot of people are complaining that he doesn't face African-American fighters. 
And if this is the case, uh, then he could put all that to bed by fa facing Frank Nichols Martin. Uh, he's definitely African-American, guys. But uh, we'll see what happens with this. Uh, I think it's a good fight. It's pay-per-view worthy. Uh, just because Javante Tank Davis has that name, you guys know he's must-see TV. People are going to pay to see Javante Tank Davis fight. And uh, I'm excited for it. We'll, we'll see what happens with that. Uh, the Isaac Pitbull Cruz thing is, is out the door. I think I heard Isaac Pitbull Cruz talking about that. Of course, you know, Roley's talking about facing Isaac Pitbull Cruz next. So we'll see what happens with that. But uh, Javante Tank Davis back on March the 30th, Amazon pay-per-view. We'll see what happens. Uh, take it with a grain of salt, guys, uh, because you know how stuff goes in boxing. But uh, if it is, we'll see. Exciting times in boxing, exciting times for the PBC. You guys let me know what you feel about it in the comments section. It's the CMB. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. And I'm out. Peace.